Okay, hi everybody. This is Aging Backwards with Sherry and Beverly. Beverly, how are you today? Hey, Sherry, how's it going? Really well. Thank you so much. So glad to be on the platform with you today. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about crushing your cravings. Crush them. That's great. <laughs> well, we all get them, right? What happens at two o'clock in the afternoon, the nighttime cravings, you know, we have so much going on and stress and emotions and then boom, where does this come from? So we are going to talk today all about crushing those cravings and what you can do to maybe choose a healthier option or to eliminate or just get rid of some of those cravings. Yeah, great tips ahead. Great tips ahead, yes. So our Aging Backwards uh, title page designed by Beverly herself, Aging Backwards with Sherry and Beverly. And if you do not know us, this is your first time listening to us. This is our Meet Your Health Coaches page. I'm Sherry Lynn, a culinary nutrition expert, health educator, certified consistency coach at Sherry Lynn Inc. I'm the founder of The Exhaustion Fix. It's a... It's where I help exhausted, busy women learn how to eat to help put their hormones in check so they can start to feel awake again and fit into those jeans in the back of their closet. Now, I have a free ebook called Essential Energy Boosters that you can just grab. All you got to do is copy down that URL right there, plug it into the search bar, and it's free. Just enter your email so I know where to send it to. Very well stated. Yes, everybody go get your free booster. We need that energy. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, Sherry. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. If I haven't met you, I'm Beverly. I'm a certified health and wellness coach, and my company is Beverly Hills Health and Wellness Coaching. So, I've coached clients who have lost up to 50 pounds in one year. I specialize in working with women in the area of menopause to help them transform their body and their lifestyle in my holistic programs that I offer online and one on one coaching. So if I can help you, I would love to see you so you can step into your dazzling health. And my website is listed there below, which is beverlyheelscoaching.com. Awesome. Thank you. I love her tagline, step into your dazzling health with her high heels. So before we go any further, we always do our disclaimer. Beverly, can you do the honors? Absolutely. This information is for educational and informational purposes only and solely as a self-help tool for your own use. We're not providing medical, psychological, or nutrition therapy advice. You should not use this information to diagnose, treat any health problems or illnesses without consulting your own medical practitioner. As always, seek the advice of your own medical practitioner or healthcare provider regarding your specific health situation. And for the full disclaimer, the URL is listed as, as we have shown it on the bottom of this page. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. So talking about afternoon cravings right away, crushing those cravings, you get that two o'clock slump and you're like, oh gosh, you're just ready for a nap. And I'm the first one that, that I love naps. Like Beverly doesn't like naps so much. I love naps, but I don't want to feel like this. I know. <laughs> not the two o'clock slump, okay? So how to avoid that? So a lot of times, especially in the morning for breakfast um, or even our lunch, close to lunch, high carbohydrate breakfast, like bagels, donuts, cereal, all of those high carb items. Um, I do know, like I work at a school too, and it's so easy to pop the bagels in the toaster with the and have the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's tasty, but there's no protein there at all. And the protein is going to satiate you and get you through a little bit longer. So these are all just high carbohydrate um, breakfast items. So it, it imbalances your hormones. Mm -hmm. Spike that insulin. Right. So you're, what you're doing by having the high carbohydrate breakfast is you are increasing your blood sugar, spiking that insulin. And that is why you are going to crash at two o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. 
or around there. So eat more protein and fat for breakfast. So protein is going to keep you satiated. It's going to keep you, um, it's one of the most filling for the nutrients. As one, one way to kind of cheat that is supercharge your coffee. Add some coconut oil, some MCT oil. I like Nutiva. I could find a picture of the Kirkland organic co coconut oil. Uh, Beverly and I both love Kirkland. It's through Costco. You can also throw some protein powder or protein pep, um, collagen peptides mm -hmm. into your coffee. Right. So do you supercharge your coffee, Beverly? I used to when I had super long days. I've been so fortunate because I'm able to telework from home now based on the nature of what's happening globally in the world regarding this health scare. Um, so I don't need that energy to keep going as longer, but I used to do my um, bulletproof coffee in the morning. It's like a little pad of butter and a little coconut oil. I actually put a little cinnamon in there and whip it up real quickly in my bullet and I would have it and it will keep me going for hours. And you're talking about satiated and filling. Oh my God, I can actually make it probably through an entire day, depending on how I prepare it. And it's one of those things like, it's got your good fats in it. So that's one of the reasons why it sustains you for so long. Right. And when you use the Nutribullet, you can, you can kind of like make a little coffee drink, like going to Starbucks Yeah. without all of those calories and all that extra, you know, so you can make it a lot more nutritious, nutritiously with your coconut oil and your, and I like the collagen in my coffee because I've always, I've had this hip problem and that just helps with my, well, not, not just my hip, my skin, my hair, your nails, everything, but it really did help with my joints. Mm -hmm. And that, and I recently had hip replacement surgery in July, but it really did help with the joints. Mm -hmm. So now the nighttime snacking, okay? So breaking the nighttime snacking habit. And like it said, it's it can be just a habit. You know, the seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you go and you, oh, it's Netflix time. Mm -hmm. and, and what does that mean? That means my popcorn, my ice cream. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it's, yeah, you've got to do this. Or it may mean my glass of wine, which runs into a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty of that. That many women can say that, you know, I was cooking dinner and then we finally got the kids off the bed and you look at the bottle like, okay. I have well, yeah, it's my time now. And then I used to do the cheese and crackers on top of that. And the crackers are high carb. carb. So there you go. And I, I couldn't understand why I was gaining weight. Well, I figured that out. So I have it a cycle you can get caught into. Well, you feed the kids and you get, you know, all the dishes and stuff done. And, and now you're hungry Yes. and you want to sit down and it, cheese and crackers is so easy, but beware True. along True. with the bottle of wine. Yeah. So True. finish eating three to four hours before bed. That's one so, of the ones that used to be a little challenging for me because I, you know, was challenged with sleeping. I have to admit I'm getting a whole lot better. But I could be up at, you know, one or two o'clock in the morning working on some type of business uh, deadline, you know, <laughs> business doesn't sleep. So I'm just like, okay, before I go to bed, I got to get something to eat. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since like four or five o'clock and I had a tendency to snack. So I'm getting away from that. Thank goodness. But that used to be one of my challenges because of the late night working. But I have to say when I did my snacking, I was conscientious about it. So my go-to was cheese. I always had cheese on hand, variety of different cheese. I had really good quality cheeses, um, grass-fed, like a lot of the cheeses that we get over in Europe. And the other thing is like, I love olives. So I would have some chopped olives, red or the black olives. So I was making pretty good choices with my snacking. Um, the crackers had to go like, I'm not, I'm not one mm -hmm. to use the crackers with cheese because in my mind, I know I'm already doing bad eating late. And the crackers knowing that they're full of the carbs, like, no, I can't do that. 
Right. So you were adding the protein through the cheese, but then the, the good fat through the olives. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. So if you are always hungry at night, maybe you're not eating enough during the day. So eat a little bit more during the day. Drink some herbal tea instead of snacking. So when it comes to habits and habit looping, you're going to start, you're going to go back to what you always knew. So if you start replacing the snacking with something else like herbal tea, or like the next line, replace it with some yoga or other stretches to help tune into your body. It doesn't mean you have to turn the Netflix off, do stretching while you watch it, do something different, keep your hands busy, get crafty. You know, we've all, we all have all of these projects that we start. Uh, maybe you crochet or play a musical instrument, or you could read instead of watch TV. Reading makes me tired. Mm -hmm. So then I just want to go to bed. So you can brush your teeth after dinner and use mouthwash even, and then you're not going to want to have to go brush your teeth again. That's a good trick. That's a very good trick. Mm -hmm. But remember, replace the habit that you want to improve with a healthier, more active habit. Correct, very well said. So, so artificial sweeteners. Beverly and I talk about this one, I think almost every uh, episode that we do. If you are drinking diet soda, no. beware. And I was just telling her that my son and I went to the gym and the guy who, who signed up my son at the gym was drinking a diet soda. And here he's working as one of the coaches at the gym. And I'm like, oh, diet soda. And he's like, oh yeah, it's zero calorie. It's aspartame. It's fine. No, it is not. No. It is not okay. It's insulinogenic, which means it raises your blood sugar. So every person that you see with a diet soda or almost every person has something sweet in their hand, like a candy bar, because yeah. those go hand in hand. Yeah. So it causes cravings. So yeah, I always warn people, like uh, especially um, type two diabetics. Mm -hmm. You, you know, sometimes um, they think that they're doing okay because they're drinking the diet soda, go for a seltzer water or some like water with lemon. Yes, there you go. Lime. Lime and strawberry. Yes, yes. Strawberry, okay. Strawberry that's floating around. And it actually makes the water taste a little strawberry. It's not sweet, but it gives that hint of flavor. So this is one of my go-to. I love my water, sparkling waters with just a hint of flavor, no sugars, like no sugars. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things wrong with diet soda. One as women, it's interfering with our bones. Like, no, don't have the diet sodas or carbonated sodas period. That's my thing. I like find, you know, some natural ways to have something hydrating. Sherry mentioned the teas. I am in love with my teas. I have all types of teas. There's teas to help me sleep, teas for like medicinal purposes. Like these are what you need to go to. And another thing that I would say about some of the artificial sweeteners, there have been some that have been least linked to like cancer. So be cognizant when you're having these types of drink, look at the back and see what's included in the label. So that would be one of the things to help you make a better decision. Yes, very, very well said. Just be beware and, and do Beverly's trick and put it in a fancy glass. Drink out of beautiful glass. Drink That's out of a beautiful glass. So even if it's water with the fruit or you know, a carbonated water. Mm -hmm. And my daughter and I will also drink Zevia, which is a, it comes in different flavors. I, I like the root beer, but it's sweetened with stevia. So it's plant-based sweetener, not an artificial sweetener. Right. So if you're not sure about a sweetener, Google it, do your research, do your homework on it. Right. If you're not sure, message Beverly or I. Please give us a call. Yeah. We'll, 
will help you. So if you're craving ice cream, this is one that I, I love ice cream. Yeah, sorbet. Okay. So, and there are some good ice creams out there that you can get. So, but this one here, try whipping up a frozen dessert bowl with one cup frozen berries and a quarter to a half cup of your favorite milk. You can use almond milk. That milk. Yeah. So blend in a half a scoop of your favorite protein powder. Mm -hmm. Very simple. You can also make um, like a popsicle type or, and you can make these ahead too, so that you get that craving. You jump to something that is a little bit more healthy rather right. than grabbing the traditional ice cream. Right with a lot of sugar. The goal here is to not eat all the sugar. You can have some. Yeah. We're not an all or nothing or restriction um, coaches. We're, we want to lower the sugar. But eliminate the bad stuff because your fruits are already sweet. Yes. Now craving pasta. Try the fiber protein rich varieties made out of lentils or chickpeas, which can be surprisingly filling. So I put a nice picture on there of the zucchini and Beverly, you were talking about your um, slicer and how it works. I actually have a unit in my kitchen and it's very inexpensive I less than 25 bucks I would think and all it is is a um, tabletop like plastic type make with blades in it and it has two prongs on the end and uh, my husband loves to cook so he would make a medley of different types of squash and he would put it in this um, spiral and like put the prongs on the end and you just crank it and in a matter of seconds, it'll make a bowl of zucchini noodles. And he will saute that in some special, um, what's it called, like oils. He has like um, international flavored oils. We did a cooking show on oils and I think it was like mm -hmm. oil. It doesn't take much, you don't get it very hot, but it gives a really good flavor. You don't cook your noodles very long. And it is such a wonderful fresh dish. And it's just so quick. You know, and just a mm -hmm. matter of because you don't have to cook it because it's spiraled, it's very thin and it cooks really quickly. So I would encourage you to try that. And if you have kids, anything spiraled that usually gets them to engage in the dish, like, oh, I want to look so cute, like look curly fries. So try that. Definitely. And they can use the spiralizer too. You just have to show them how to use it and how to keep their fingers, you know, out of things. Um, if you don't want to do the spiralizer, you can go to the deli area, the produce area, and buy mm -hmm. the already spiralized zucchini and some of the other varieties. You can also cut up the eggplant and put that in your lasagna instead of the noodles. The goal here is to get rid of the, um, the foods that are going to increase your blood sugar, your insulin, like things made out of the white flour, like your noodles. So that's where this is so important with, and you look at all of the nutrients and, and vitamins and minerals you get out of these vegetables versus yeah. nothing you get out of the white flour. And then this will keep you satiated as well. You know, there's a lot of fiber in there. Yes, a lot of fiber and you will start to get back into those genes in the back of your closet. There you go. That's the goal. <laughs> It is the goal. So, and to feel better, right? We all want to get our energy back and to feel better and feel awakened. And so if you have any questions at all, just contact either one of us and our platforms are provided to submit any questions you may have. We're here to support you on your health goals. Let us know if you have a topic of interest that you would like us to present a a video. We love researching and Beverly and I can sit on here for hours and talk about stuff. It's, it's, this is fun for us. So please like, and subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. And thanks for watching. So here is our last page. Thanks for being with us. I'm Sherry Lynn, Sherry Lynn Inc. My Instagram is there my Facebook page. 
My Facebook group is Overcome Extreme Fatigue with Sherry Lynn. And my free ebook is Essential Energy Boosters Guide. Yeah. So Beverly, will you share yours? Yes, thank you, Sherry. I encourage you to go to Sherry's website, oh, um, their Facebook group. I keep saying website, but her Facebook group, she has amazing content out there. She is always making it interesting and fascinating. And I think you have something like, thank oh, you. six or 700 members in there. It's huge. Almost 700. It's huge. So come check her out. She's amazing at what she does and her background with nutrition. She has so many great recipes. So I love to pop in there and see what's going on. So I'm on the other side. So I'm Beverly Hills Health and Wellness Coaching. I work with women in menopause. So my tagline is Step Into Dazzling Health. I have my website there, my Facebook, Instagram, and also offer a free ebook, which is Six Ways to Bust Through the Belly Fat. And again, as Sherry indicated, please go to our um, YouTube page and subscribe to Aging Backwards with Sherry and Beverly. We actually have celebrated our one year anniversary. So we have a mm -hmm. pantra of different topics that we've covered. So there's something there that will suit whatever stage you're at in your health journey. So we're glad to have you here and thank you and please share. All right, thank you, Beverly. Thanks everybody. We will see you next week.